Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to something amazing. As the title says, what's in this case? No, it's not a pew pew. Uh, what's in this case definitely changes everything. So stay tuned and we'll take a look at this thing. All right, guys, this is the brand new tool device, amazing piece of equipment from Michael at RCCG Machine. I'm gonna put their links to their how-to YouTube video down below, the website, his email address, all that information is down below in the description box of this video. Now. Michael contacted me quite a few months ago. I can't remember how many months ago, but uh, he threw this idea by me about this device. And uh, I absolutely jumped on the chance to give any sort of input I could, and also jumped on the chance to get one of these things. And uh, first one delivered. There may be one more out there in North America, but I think this is the first one delivered out there. So this thing is so cool. I have not taken any of this stuff out of the box yet. Haven't played with it. Let's take a look. All right, now I'm gonna preface this video a little bit. It's not gonna be a how-to video. Michael has a great how-to video, how to assemble it, how to use it. We're gonna go over a couple things that I think um, are important with this device, but uh, really what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys this amazing tool. Uh, also give an honest review on it as well because I haven't used this, haven't even pulled it out of the box yet. This is as far as I've gotten with it and I've watched Michael's how-to video, and uh, it's great. So when you first open this package up, um, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's held in a, uh, a fantastic case here. Um, this thing is awesome. Actually weighs a fair bit, so uh, very, very well built. It's all aluminum, all metal, amazing construction. Uh, when you first open this up, there's a couple things in here. So you've got your diagram, on what this is. You've got a great instruction sheet as well too. Now, I've been using the Zykoi Balancer. That's what this thing is based off of. I've been using the Zykoi Balancer for a long time now, and I've actually recently stopped using it so much. The main reason is I absolutely hate taking the measurements. It's a long process. You're laying tape down on the ground or on a big workbench. Uh, you're trying to get rulers and uh, it's just not a, a great process for me. So I've, I've really uh, stopped using my Zykoi balancer other than just to get the weight of an aircraft. That's where this thing really comes in. It also eliminates the possibility of poor measurements, which is really what the Zykoi balancer, uh, one of its downfalls could be is garbage in equals garbage out. So if you do your measurements wrong, you're gonna get wrong uh, information, wrong CG, and that could lead to a, a plane crash or a bad landing or whatever it is. And uh, that's what this tool is designed for. So let's take a look at all the parts first. And uh, we're gonna do a bunch of CG checks on this device in this video. Uh, we're gonna use the, use the device and uh, take a really good thorough look at it. And if you guys are interested, again, all the information is down below. You can check out their website, contact Michael. And uh, he's put a lot of thought into this thing, a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort. So kudos to you, Michael. Good job. All right, so everything is very well packaged in this case. We've got uh, a couple things here. I, I put this there, but we've got a couple sets of rulers uh, in here. We'll show more about that. Uh, we've got a big, long uh, yardstick ruler, I guess you'd call it. So this has both inches on it and metric, so imperial metric, millimeters, uh, centimeters, all that type of stuff. So. Uh, the ruler set's included, it's all in there, which is great. Uh, you've got the main pieces here, which are all aluminum construction. Uh, this and this piece are what actually fits together. You've got a bubble level, which sits in the very center. Uh, this is where your mains line up to. 
And I should also preface as well too, this device works with any plane, big, small, tail dragger, uh, all of that type of stuff, this works with it. So uh, if you're right away thinking that it won't work with your planes, it definitely will. Okay, so along with the bubble level, we've got leveling feet everywhere as well. Uh, this is an extension for the main forward and back piece. Uh, uses, uh, again, nice metal construction, all accurate. Now, one of the key things with this is you'll see the rulers are kind of funny. Well, that's because they're all predetermined and they all work with these pieces right here. So very, very cool setup. Uh, you've got all of your, uh, your holders for your Zykoi pucks and uh, just awesome stuff. This is so nice. Um, I love seeing good quality created stuff like this. This is beautiful. Uh, comes with all the Allen keys as well too to put this thing together and do all your adjustments and all that kind of stuff. So that's everything in the, uh, in the box. This is your leading edge uh, device. So this you actually butt up against the leading edge. We'll show you more about that or you can watch this video. Um, but that is what comes in the box. Very, very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together. And uh, again, this is not a how-to video. Michael has a great how-to video on YouTube. So I'm gonna take that device, put it all together, and uh, I'll give you guys kind of a rundown, my opinion on how it was putting it together and uh, what the whole process is like. So stay tuned and I will uh, get back to you with that. All right, now I know Michael covers some of this stuff in his video, but I gotta highlight these little things for you because they are really cool. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Okay, so this is the leading edge uh, bar that you bring up to the leading edge. So one of the cool things is the uh, there's a little channel here that the bottom nut sits in, so that's all captured. So you don't need any tools. All you need to do is spin the rod and that tightens up. So that is really cool. This stuff just pops in and out of these guides really nice and easy. Um, the other thing that I'm just getting to, I guess putting this together is super easy. We're a little bit challenged right now as well too because in the shop here, everything slopes towards the big doors, right? So uh, right now, this table is actually sloped like this. So we've got that leg up, that leg down, and so we're level all the way across everything. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so then what you do is you take the big ruler and you measure in between the mains. So what I got when I measured that was 650 millimeters in between or 65 centimeters. And then what you do is you come to the ruler here. Now, if you look at this ruler, it just doesn't make any sense, but it's already pre-done for you. So you know the distance between your mains is 65 centimeters. So you bring this puck edge to 65 centimeters, which is right there. And then you bring this one to 65 centimeters right there. Now, if you're an Imperial guy watching this video, uh, yes, we use the metric system all over the world. The nice thing about the metric system is everything just adds or subtracts a zero. So 650 millimeters is 65 centimeters. That's just the way it works. So now with those pucks there, we know exactly where our main pucks need to be. So we can put our Zykoi pucks on there when we lift this plane onto the CG machine those pucks are gonna be really close to where they need to be. And uh, now we're gonna do the nose as well too. So we'll take our ruler and we'll just get a rough measurement in between the mains and the nose. And then we'll know exactly where we can put that puck. Now I'm doing this on a table. Of course, you can do this on the ground as well. I'm just doing it up here so I'm not bent over all the time. All right, so it's the same thing on the front to back uh, measuring tape layout. And I'll show you what I mean here. I'm using one of the included measuring tapes uh, or rulers, sorry. Uh, these things are awesome. Thank you again for including these. Uh, this, these come in the kit as well. So that's what was in that, uh, that white little paper wrapper. Okay, so our center point is the line right on the bubble level here. Now, um, if you measure here with our puck, it says we're at 90 millimeters. So from the main gear to the nose gear would be 
90 millimeters. Well, how does that work? Well, if you look at our measurement here, I'm just gonna get this lined up as best as possible. Um, from the center point to the center of this puck, we're at 90 millimeters. So this is all pre-done for you. So you have your mains sitting here on a, on a normal jet. And let's say your uh, nose ended up right there. Um, and you know, it's sitting on your Zykoi puck and everything. Well, you know your measurement here is 1,250. That's the number you need to enter into your Zykoi balancer. So all of the measurements are done for you already. Now I've taken the leading edge bar off here and I'll show you there's what I'm talking about with the, uh, the keeper for the nut. That is really cool. So it's the same thing on the leading edge. So we're gonna put this one back in, but this stuff is super easy to put together. Just kind of following the instructions here. And we'll slide this guy on. Beautiful. All right, so I don't fly a lot of tail draggers, but they include this adapter plate for tail draggers. Now, tail draggers, you're going to be putting your main wheels on there, your front wheels, I guess. Your back wheel is gonna be here. Now, in order to use the Zykoi machine, you need to level out the back wheel. So what they've done is this is designed around a two inch PVC pipe uh, or ABS pipe, either or, I guess. And uh, you could measure out your piece of pipe. The adapter plate goes over top and your Zykoi puck can sit right there. And then now you've got your extension for your tail dragger. So I guess you'd make up an extension for each of your planes, which is, uh, is awesome. And uh, that's what the, uh, the tail dragger plate looks like, which is very cool. All right guys, so we have put the bull together and we're gonna do our check with the bull. So the first thing we need to do is we need to measure the distance between the landing gear. Just a rough number, of course. So we are 1020. 1020. So we take away a zero, so we are at 102, and we are at 102. Perfect. Okay, so that's the mains. Uh, this bull has very, very wide landing gear, so I guess if you had a plane, like a, just a gigantic plane, uh, this would be an issue, but like even something like the L39, uh, the gear is much narrower than the bull gear, as we've already kind of looked at. Like the L39, we're, we're uh, in the 60s versus the 100s, so very, very different. Um, so that's the first step there. Next thing we need to do is just get a rough measurement of the mains to fronts, just so we can put that puck where it belongs. Okay, so this is gonna be a little hard because the gear is so wide, but uh, we'll use the proper end here. So we're about uh, just eyeballing it 1,050. Take away a zero, so we're at 105. So that is kind of the layout here of how we need to do this. Now this bull, is kind of probably on the verge of uh, the aircraft size that I would do this by myself. So this is 2.6 meters by 2.6 meters. Now we have measured this plane before uh, with the hanging method. And uh, so the CG is all done. The only thing that's different is when we did the CG before, we had some fuel in the main tank, like a landing amount of fuel. So we'll put this on there now, get our measurements done, and then we'll add a landing amount of fuel and see how that affects everything. But uh, so what I'm gonna do now is get this plane put on the stand. Now, if we have this piece out of the way like that, I think it should be fairly easy to access. So let's put this plane on the stand. All right, we've enlisted Beautiful Wife's help to get this on the stand, so we are going to get it on the stand, hopefully nice and easy. So if you can grab the nose. Okay, so put the mains on first. OK, 
So now we just do our small adjustments, get those in the right spot, get our nose in the right spot. Perfect. So what we need to do now is we need to get our measurement, I can't remember what the measurement is, back from the leading edge. And uh, so we're going to get that and then we'll come back. All right, guys, so I found the measurement on the instruction sheet and it's 248 millimeters. So we've got our weight here is 29.75-ish uh, for a weight. So what we'll do is we'll go to CG and we need to enter our measurements. So we'll go select model, bull. So distance front to means. So this one's super easy because you've got your zero mark there and that is right here. So you're using the leading edge here and that brings you to, like we talked about, the center of your puck, right? So we're one, zero, four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, zero, four, nine for this aircraft. So we'll go distance front to means, edit. One, zero, four, nine. And then now we need distance means to CG. So this is gonna be the fun one. So this is the one that we haven't done yet. Okay, so we take our rod, we're gonna loosen that off and we're getting this to the leading edge where the wing joins the fuselage. So we'll get that lined up. And we'll go over just a little bit. Now this bull has quite the funky wing shape to it, like there's multiple angles and stuff going on here. There we go. Okay, so now we know that we're 248 millimeters back from the leading edge. So we've got our leading edge mark here. Now we take our small ruler and we're gonna measure 248 millimeters back. Okay guys, so we've got everything set up here. We've got a landing amount of fuel installed in the tank. So what we're gonna do is we're going to check our measurements on here. So we know our first measurement. Let's go to the CG machine. So we'll select, we'll go to edit. So we know our, know our first measurement is here. So let's check that. So we've got our wheel in the middle of the scale and we're one, zero, four, we'll call it six. So we'll edit this one. So one, zero, four, six. Uh, distance means to CG. So what we did was we got our rod adjusted. So it's right close to the wing. We've tucked this up so we're just getting close to touching the root of the wing where it joins the fuselage. So now we take that line right there and we know that we need to go 248 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing. So we'll take this and get it lined up. We can make this even easier. So we've got 248 right there. So 248 from the leading edge back. And that brings us right to the middle line here. Okay, so what we wanna do there is we've got six, five, four. So this is actually the 40 mark right here. So our number that we're gonna enter in there in, this, in the Zykoi machine is four zero. So we've got Four, zero, enter. So a distance from mains to nose, one, zero, four, six. Distance from uh, mains to CG point is 40 millimeters. We've got our adjustment point set to 900, which is right here. Uh, the batteries are kind of located in this area. Our weight is located in that area. 
So that's why we put that there. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of an optional thing. Uh, anyways, we'll save that and we'll select that. Boom. <laughs> there we are. So with a landing amount of fuel, we are bang on the CG point. Absolutely bang on. I'm just playing around with my hand here on the, on the scale. So that confirms that we are perfect with this plane with a landing amount of fuel in that tank. That is super cool. Really, really nice to confirm that. Awesome. I love this thing already. That made those measurements so much easier. All right, guys. Well, I can tell you after putting this thing together, seeing it in person, checking a plane on it, uh, definitely gets my approval, but most importantly, it gets trusty bent screwdrivers approval. Uh, this equipment is awesome. Uh, definitely a huge time saver. Uh, the quality of it is absolutely outstanding. I mean, it's made uh, perfectly. I can't think of anything I would change on this thing. Everything goes together really well. It's all built with very quality tools. All the measuring uh, stuff just makes perfect sense uh, once you kind of get the hang of it. And uh, definitely quality materials, uh, just, just outstanding. So if you guys are interested in making your Zykoi machine a heck of a lot easier to use, maybe you build planes, maybe you got a lot of planes, maybe you just want to uh, make the measurements a lot easier, definitely check CG Machines website down below. Michael, you definitely put together a beautiful piece of equipment here. Uh, two thumbs up, uh, very, very impressive. So thank you so much for the opportunity to try this out and to have one here at the lighter side of RC in our shop. It's definitely gonna get a lot of use. So thank you guys for watching and checking this out. Don't forget to check out the website, links down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.